Hello, welcome to Bourbon Forage Fishing. I'm Ryan. I hope that you're enjoying the new year. We're in the first week of January, and we're having BTAC and Van Winkle stuff who's dropping uh, allocated products. So some of the bars are getting it, and some of the liquor stores now. So people are, uh, you know, posting pictures on Facebook of their scores, you know, George T. Staggs and their pappies and all this stuff. So it's a good time of year. It's fun. If you're a bourbon collector, of course, this is the time and time of year you wait for to get the really good stuff. Um, a local bar in Bellingham called the Ta Cavern Tavern um, luckily got a bunch of allocated stuff. And I went in tonight to try two products. So we took a, my girlfriend and I tried the uh, family, the, the Van Winkle 13 year rye, total garbage trash, uh, 2023. We got the 2023 Eagle Rare 17. And I accidentally took a huge mouthful of it like it was a cola. Let me let me preface this. I hate hate Eagle Rare. I hate it with a passion. I like nothing about it. I will never buy an Eagle Rare. I don't like the store picks. Nothing Eagle Rare. I hate it. I hate it all. I put that Eagle Rare 17 in my mouth from this year. Wow. That was a beautiful and incredible bourbon at 51%. Wow. It was just a delicious cherry scone or a cherry Danish cream butter, lightly sweet. And it just went on and on. It was a beautiful, beautiful bourbon, you guys. Beautiful. The, the Eagle Rare 17 is an A plus for me. It, uh, I can't believe it. Because again, I hate Eagle Rare. I hate it. Uh, I can't believe that I would rank that one this high. But oh, I have seen a lot of people say the Eagle Rare 17 2023 is number one. And I could see why that would be the case. I don't think I could put it above a George T. Steg just because of the barrel proof factor. But I would bet money it would be number two, you know, or it'd be up there. I could see it being number anywhere, number one, number two, number three. Um, and I see why it's always in the top three for this year, this 2023. I totally get it. Um, last year, we had a tasting at my, at my house for the BTAC and Eco Rare finish last on everyone's list. So it's amazing how much uh, of a variance differential you get with annual releases like this. So uh, that Eagle Rare 17, 2023, wow, that's a banger. That's a horde bottle. Of course, there's only a handful of the damn things in the whole country. So if you even see one, buy it. Just an incredible bourbon. Wow. I, I was really impressed and just totally blown away. I hope you enjoyed this. This is Bourbon Forage Fishing. If you can find it in a bar, I know it's hard to find, but if you could find it in a bar, I would say shit. I think it's worth trying for 75, 80 bucks. I would. I, I think it's worth it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's delicious. I do have the 23 George T. Stag. You guys are probably wondering, probably stressing out like, oh my God, does he have the George T. Stag for 23? Don't worry. I do. I got all kinds of stuff and I'll be posting that later on in the month. So we'll be doing reviews of all the BTAC stuff. Don't worry. I always get the coolest bottles. <laughs> That's why this channel rules. Thank you for watching. Take care.